believe the Rainbow House is like a second home to us. It's home far away from home. I am Mercedes Swanick. I live in Wood River, Nebraska with my husband, Jeremy, and daughter, Harley. Harley is a sassy, lovable toddler, but she just does things a little differently. When Harley was six months old, she was hitting her milestones. I was actually working when her daycare provider called me. All I got was I needed to come to Grand Island and go to the emergency room. When I first arrived, she was still pronounced dead. She received 35 minutes of CPR and five doses of epinephrine to get her heart pumping back again. We found out her heart was twice its size. And so that's when they decided that we needed to be life lighted to children's. Harley was diagnosed with Al Kappa, which is the arteries on the left side of the heart didn't develop, they developed on the right side. And so she wasn't receiving the blood and oxygen the heart needed to survive. And so it eventually went into cardiac arrest. When we got to see Harley the first time after surgery, she was hooked up to ECMO, which is a life support machine, and her chest was cracked open because of too much pressure on the heart. And she had wires, tubing, and it was scary, but she was a fighter. When we first got to Children's, it was that night that one of the nurses pulled us aside and said, there's the rainbow house that you can stay at. Because when you're in that situation, you're stressed and you really can't think straight, but you can't take care of your child if you don't take care of yourself. The first year after Harley's accident, we came to Children's, I believe almost every other month. Ready? <laughs> now it's about every three to six months for checkups. It's just easier for us to come to the Rainbow House, get a good night's sleep, and then be ready for the day of all those appointments. <sighs> I'll say how proud I am of Harley. Um, she's such a fighter. Um, she teaches me every day new lessons, and there's just no words to explain how proud I am of her. This place has been amazing knowing that there was a place for us to stay and not have to worry about, you know, financially, can I afford a hotel room? <sighs> Where am I going to sleep? <sighs> am I going to eat for the day? And all the families that you meet here too, you're not strangers, you're somehow all connected. You did a good job, yes, you were such a big girl. Our family is so grateful for Carolyn Scott and her family and the Rainbow House.